Hi, Lee Ellis here again with this month's installment of the Honor Code. We're on Article 5 this month, and that's about being responsible, do your duty, and be accountable. Sounds pretty important in today's world, doesn't it? We hear a lot of news about people who have not been responsible, not been accountable. A lot of that going on. In fact, recently I heard a story, it happened several years ago, but at Harvard in the MBA program, and like a lot of other schools that have MBA programs, they have a new MBA um, oath for MBA graduates. And this part of this oath is, it says, I will act uh, ethically and I will try in every way to be a, a responsible person in that way. That's paraphrased, but that's basically what it said. Now, some of the students pushed back on signing that oath, saying, as it turned out, I don't think I could be responsible to my shareholders and live within that oath. Which tells you something about the way people look at being successful today. The bottom line was driving that kind of thinking. I think that was short-term thinking because I think in the long run, being responsible and being accountable to do the right thing, and being which is being ethical, would always take you further. In fact, in today's world, I think being accountable is going to be a value to the bottom line every time because it's so easy in social media for the accountability to come almost overnight. When someone realizes that a company is not treating their uh, customers and clients properly, they can really wipe out a big margin share in a hurry with social media blitz. It's happened before and it's going to happen more and more as people are connected in a way they've never been connected before and they're going to exert that power for accountability with corporations and organizations. Now, we're interested in, in that, but let's look a little bit deeper at why. First of all, it's really about doing the right thing. And you can never go wrong when you do the right thing. It is the right thing when you're being responsible, being accountable, and doing your duty. It's also, for me, about personal pride. Part of my identity is being a person who is accountable, responsible, and committed to doing the right thing. Now, do I always do it? No. Sometimes I fall short, and when I realize that I am, I try to go to the person that I'm responsible to and let them know so they can plan accordingly, and then try to do better the next time. The third reason is, in the long run, I think there's the reward. The greatest rewards in the long run are going to be from being responsible and accountable and doing your duty. You know, in the military, we learn very early about being responsible and doing your duty. In boot camp, most everybody that goes in the military goes through some sort of boot camp. And, of course, there are a lot of stories that continue for years because it's such a traumatic experience. It turns out to be one of the more positive experiences, and we all tell stories about it for years and years. But at the time, it feels very, very difficult because it's a, a stark awakening for us because the accountability that even your bed, you have to be able to bounce a quarter on the bed's got to be made up so tight and your shoes shine in place and everything's got to be put in a certain order in your room in boot camp. But it's all about teaching people how to be responsible and to be accountable because if you don't meet the standards, there's certainly going to be accountability very quickly as one of those sergeants gets in your face and uh, maybe walks, make you walk some tours after hours. So we know that accountability is important, but how do we do it? How can we coach ourselves? I think we coach ourselves. We have to have word pictures in our minds and, and coach ourselves into behaviors that we need to be into, and this is certainly one of those. Well, first of all, I think being a servant leader. As a servant, I'm committed to somebody to be able to deliver the goods and therefore I'm responsible and accountable. Whether if you're a CEO, it's your board of directors. If you're a manager, it's the manager above you. But it's also probably your peers that you're accountable to in many cases and the people who work for you. To some degree, you're responsible to them also because part of your duty is to take care of your people. So servant leadership is certainly important. Second, though, is ownership. And that's my part. I need to own this and whenever I go into something I try to own it as though I did own it. You know they say nobody washes a rental car. So I don't want that attitude to be my attitude toward my work and the things I'm responsible for. I do want to wash that car if I own it and I'm responsible for it. So having that caring attitude about your work, about your duty, about your responsibilities 
puts you in that zone of commitment to move forward to do the right thing and to do what you're supposed to do. But there are going to be times when that's going to be very hard. It's hard to do the right thing. It's hard to be responsible. It's very difficult to be accountable consistently. And that's where the courage piece comes in. And that would be the third piece. Being courageous to do what you know you ought to do, even when it feels scary, or uncomfortable, or unnatural. And remember to take the courage challenge. Lean into the pain of your doubts and fears to do what you know is right and what you're committed to doing and to be responsible. So powerful. Well, you know, as a young guy in the POW camp, usually the youngest in my camp and the junior ranking person in my camp, I had no official authority, responsibility, or power. But somehow, this work ethic I had from growing up on the farm and the family that I was raised in caused me to step out and take responsibility for things that I probably, I mean, in some of the cells, uh, only one or two guys or three or four guys, but in other cells, as many as 50 guys in a cell. And I would step forward and take responsibility and then go execute it to the best of my ability. I was a communications guy, and that was a big responsibility. But also, I cleaned the latrine, and that's pretty messy business. I would take on anything that needed to be done and do it to the best of my ability and be accountable for it. Maybe I was bored, but for some reason I stepped into those things and did them and was accountable and responsible. Well, when we'd been home about six months after our release, I got a call one Friday night from a colonel friend of mine. I was a captain. He told me he'd been on the promotions board to major. And then I'd been promoted two years early, two years ahead of my peers, because basically only ca the only captain's performance reports I'd ever had written were written during the POW camp because I was a first lieutenant when I was captured. That really shocked me because I just saw myself as a guy who was there doing his job. Later, I talked to some of my seniors from that experience and said, what was that about? How did I, what was different? How did I stand out? And they said, you cared. You took responsibility. You were a leader, even though you really had no formal position of leadership. You exerted influence, and a big part of that was the way you took on responsibilities and executed without complaining, without making excuses. You just did things and did your duty. That spoke to me. It's a lesson I've never forgotten, that there is a reward in the end. I think a big reward for all of us by doing the right thing, doing our duty, being responsible, and being accountable. If you do that, you're going to set such a great example for all those around you your leaders even, as I just indicated, your peers, those who work for you, they're all going to be influenced by that. And maybe more importantly, you'll set an example for our culture. We desperately need leaders who will live and lead with honor. And being responsible, being accountable, doing your duty is first and foremost a big part of that. I hope you'll take that seriously, be committed, and do your duty, and keep smiling all the way. See you next month.